What's going guys? Today we'll go over a complicated geometry question from section four. For this question, I'll first explain the fastest way to solve it, and then I'll show you how long this method will actually take during the SAT without any explanation. So let's get straight into it. What's up guys? John from Admission Hackers. Quick announcement before we start. You're about to see one of the fastest ways to solve these SAT questions, and I have created a six week program that will train you to solve them the exact same way. Everything is in the video format, so it's easier to follow than your SAT prep books. And the program only covers what's proven to be tested on the SAT to not waste your time and raise your score quickly. Also, I'll be mentoring you personally until you get your target score, but more details in the description box down below. That's it. Let's get to the video. So the question says Thomas is making a sign with the shape of a regular hexagon. Very important. With four inch sides, which he will cut out from a rectangular sheet of metal as shown in the figure above. What is the sum of the areas of the four triangles that will be removed from the triangle? So inside the rectangle, we have four triangles and we're trying to find the sum of the areas. And for us to do that, we would need to find out the base height, find the area of one triangle and multiply it by four. And that will give us the total area of four triangles. But how can we find the missing side lengths here? Well, the question tells us that we have a regular hexagon, right? That means every single side of a hexagon is going to be equal and every single angle in the hexagon is going to be equal measure as well. And by using the total angle formula, we know that the total angle inside of a hexagon is going to be 720, right? And if you divide those angles by six, you end up with 120, which means this angle right here is going to be 120. Divide all the angles into equal six pieces, you get angle of one of them. And because the flat line is 180, that means this angle right here inside the triangle is going to be 60. And because it's a rectangle, we know this angle is going to be 90 degrees. And 60, 90, that means this triangle is going to be a 30, 60, 90 triangle, which we know follows a special ratio. When it's 30 here, 60, it's going to be x, x root three, and it's going to be two x. And if a regular hexagon has a side length of four, that means it's going to be four here as well, which means it's going to be four here, and two here, and two root three, according to our special right triangle ratios. That means the area of a triangle is going to be base times the height, which is going to be two times two root three divided by two. And two would cancel out. The area of a single triangle is going to be two root three. And because we have four triangles inside the rectangle, we'll multiply this by four, which gives us eight root three, which will represent the sum of the areas of four triangles, which is going to be choice A. In order for you to solve this question the fastest way possible, you would first need to know what regular hexagon meant, and you would also need to know the total angle formula and know the special right triangle side length ratios. Without it, you will end up going the long way, spending so much time on this question, and end up having time issues on the SAT. And that's why it's so important for you to master the concepts first. But let's go over how long this question would take in real time. So Thomas is making a sign out of a regular hexagon with four inch sides, which we'll cut out from a rectangular blah, 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 figure above. What is the sum of the areas of the four triangles that will be removed from the rectangle? Okay, so we have a rectangle here, it means right angle, and it's going to be four everywhere, hexagon. Okay. That means that's going to be 180 times four, it's going to be a 720 divided by six, Going to be 120. That angle is 120, that means this one's going to be 60. Right angle is going to be a 30, 60, 90 triangle. And that side length is going to be 4. That means opposite of 30 is going to be half, which is 2. And that's going to be 2 root 3. So area of one triangle is going to be 2 times 2 root 3 divided by 2. It's equal to just 2 root 3. Okay? And because we have four triangles, it will be just times 4, which will be just 8 root 3. Answer is going to be choice A. So that's going to be it. Give a thumbs up if you found this video helpful and I'll see you on the next one. What's up guys, John from Admission Hackers. You just saw one of the fastest ways to solve these SAT questions. And I have created a six week program that will train you to solve them the exact same way. Everything is in the video format, so it's easier to follow than your SAT prep books. And the program covers only what is proven to be tested on the SAT to not waste your time and raise your score quickly. And I'll be mentoring you personally until you get your target score, but more details in the description box down below. That's it, I'll see you in the next one.